This is gonna be a short video about supersedence. So we are in the plan of uh, packaging a Google Chrome browser in uh, Microsoft Intune, and we have added in previous videos app information, program, requirements, detection rule, and in the previous video we did the uh, dependency. So let's dive into supersedence. Let's go next here. So supersedence could be good to do when you want to update or replace a previous version or actually a totally different software. You could, if you were on the Firefox, you could replace Firefox with supersedence with Google Chrome. But I think the initial thought is that you update uh, to a newer version. So we have packaged Google Chrome 92 here. So if we previously had pushed version 90 or 91, we could add the 90 and 90 or 91 here. And when some machine get the um, an assignment or deployment for 90 or 91, that changes and deploy this one with supersedence to version 92. So you can have up to 10 applications in this list. And when you add here, you might notice that it's grayed out. Why is it grayed out? It's actually in preview this, and currently if you add a dependency, supersedence isn't supported, but in the future it will. If we hover over here the information, it's gonna say exactly that. Supersedence with dependency will be supported in the future. But at the moment of this uh, recording, it's not supported. So in order to show this, I'm gonna go back. So you can go back previous or click directly. I'm gonna click here. Here, and we're going to remove this dependency that wasn't needed anyway and then we can click back to supersedence now it's uh, um, light up again so I'm gonna add a test package which doesn't make any sense but just so we see something so I select this package so if someone is deploying Google Chrome dependency package it won't actually run that it will supersedence and run our Google Chrome 92 instead and if you don't have, if it doesn't support automatically upgrade, you can have it to automatically uninstall previous version. Then it will run the uninstall script here. And very important, and I mentioned that in the video about detection rule, if you are, if we pretend that this is not Google Chrome dependency, but Google Chrome 91, if we in detection, detection rule, just look for chrome.exe file exist, this won't work because it will always be true. We have to look the different version that the exe file of chrome.exe is version 91. If not, it won't notice that it's two different packages by detection mode, because then they will have the same if we look only if chrome.exe exists for 92 and 91. So very important to have good detection rules if you're going to use uh, supersedence. And we're actually not going to need this one. So I'll remove this one in the next video. But that's a little bit about supersedence. I think you can manage a lot of supersedence with your scripts to do the uninstallation and update, but it's a good feature that can be useful. So very well done. Thank you very much.